just want to mention that this video might end up going up like two months after I started filming because I lost some clips and then some out of order. I took some breaks in between to start over. You know, like life. Life basically happened. And, um, yeah, it was definitely a struggle. There are like zero clips of me actually reading. Like you probably won't actually see me sit down and read. It's more of me talking about what I read because of the last few weeks I've been mainly reading audiobook or on my phone and I use my phone to film so you're not gonna be able to see me to read and when I do read like physical book I keep forgetting to film or I tend to be with other people that I'm not comfortable with filming around so I don't really film a lot hopefully I can um figure some things out so I can film some more now that I'm in college and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video you probably to be honest i feel like people are gonna be mad in the comments because people are already mad at the tweet that i posted which i might actually go back and get put some of that like screenshots in here and you'll probably see me pop in a couple times to like explain or narrate so that being said let's go on to the next clip welcome to the uh reading vlog if you hear any noise in the background, there's a dog walking around, people are doing laundry, and my uncle's playing Xbox. I'm currently watching Blonde with a Book July wrap-up, because I'm catching up on a bunch of videos. I'm also reading and entertaining Nevernight by J. Kristoff. I'm nervous because it's a paperback, and it is a off-white color, which makes it look dirty, and I feel like I'm making it even more dirty. Oops, I already bent the spine. Oh well. Let me get another copy. I have about four tabs in there. Can you see that? Can I? How do you show that? That's not working either. Ugh. I don't know how to show that. But I have four tabs in here. Most of them are like character and world development. And there's like one. What the hell is that? References to something. I decided because I don't like writing in my book, I'm going to. Write note cards, and each number is like the order of the tabs for that chapter. For example, where it says third tab in chapter one, I will go to third tab in chapter one. And because I'm lazy, don't want to carry a pack of index cards with me, I have index cards. Oh my god. Every 25 pages. Most people do 50 pages. I decided to do 25 because I felt like I have bigger handwriting. Also, um, I feel like I do a lot of notes in general when I do things. I tend to take a lot more notes than I really need to, so yeah. I got the note card idea from Cass from Little Book Owl and Brittany from Bibbly the Bibliophile. And I got annotating idea from everyone pretty much. Like a pretty good chunk of the book community does that. So, I'm buddy reading this with Michaela Reads. We both started, I think I, she started today and I started last night. And uh, she's already like 50 something pages ahead of me. That's what I'm saying. I am buddy reading this with Michaela Reads. Uh, I met her through Twitter, but I actually already knew her before then. She's amazing. Uh, I think she's like 50, maybe even 60 pages ahead of me now. And I'm a little butthurt because we've been talking like on twitter and instagram a lot because there's been a lot of posts about the series since book three is coming out there's a lot of like videos and trailers and pierre ford is working on the web series and i think she just wrapped and so i've been like i have a playlist that i'm working on for never night so that i can read this catch up on videos get you know basically get into the world and the fandom then read book two sometime this year and then hopefully book three book three might be a little bit later on though so um so far i'm enjoying it even though i'm on book one like the first lines are very strong lines like jay Kristoff was like i'm gonna give it to you and he did this feels weird um it's thursday I'm starting this on Thursday. I don't know if I'm going to do it like every week or I'm going to do like just for this book. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
But yeah, I'm annotating and watching YouTube. And that's all I'm doing. I have these Bantu knots in my hair because I want to curl my hair. I can do it with a curling iron, but I prefer to do it like naturally. And I know the longer you keep these in, the curlier it gets. It's been like two days now. And I'm really hoping they'll be like extra, extra curly when I take them out. I finished editing some videos today. I have five videos. One for every Friday scheduled. I believe it's like Friday 10.15 in the morning between tomorrow and September 13th. I do have a few other videos that I'm working on. So those will probably be like in there somewhere. I feel very productive. I feel very productive today, so I'm hoping to get to at least page 50 today, if not page 50, as far as I can go. I did want to read earlier, but I ended up falling asleep. Um, I was reading 99% mine earlier today, and the past couple days, it's very, very slowly, because I just haven't been reading. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to return it, let the people in line behind me get it, and I'll start Never Night. So I returned it. And there was two other people in line behind me, right? Five minutes after I returned the book, because I put a hold on it. There was only one copy of the book in my library. And there's two other people behind me in line. So I returned it. So my assumption is I would return it. That it would go to those next two people, like, normally. And then it would go back to me because I put a hold on it, you know, to get it later. Five minutes after I got the book, I get an email. 99% mine has been automatically been borrowed to you, you know, that email, and I was like, so I guess those two people in mine decided not to keep it, I guess, I don't know, so now I have it again, it used to be like three days left, and I'm at 14, so I guess I'll be reading the ebook of that, and then also the physical book of Nevernight, and yeah, um, it is the 15th, I believe, or the 15th or 16th. My birthday is on the 23rd. We have a couple things going on in between, and then I move out on the 28th. So I'm not sure how much. Oh, my pen just got messed up. I'm not sure how much reading I'll be doing between you know now and then. So we're just gonna have to see. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Like I haven't done vlogs in a while, and I feel like I rant a lot in them. So. Here I am on uh, Sunday, August 25th, literally like 5-10 minutes after my last vlog that just went up. How's it going? I'm not really doing anything, like I said in that vlog. I am listening to YouTube videos, editing, playing games, doing whatever. Not reading. <clears throat> um, yes, I move into my dorm on Wednesday. I think I'm going to take today to read or try to read. Let's let's try to read and then tomorrow, if my plans with my friends happen, I'll do that and then the rest of the day will be like clean organized and then Tuesday will be clean organized, get it done, get ready. And then Wednesday I'm leaving. Thursday and Friday, I believe, is when we start orientation, and orientation's like a week long there. Not sure what we're doing, but I guess you guys might see it if I remind myself to vlog this week. Yeah. So. Welcome to this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next update. Also, I realized that I do weekly reading vlogs, but you rarely ever see me read. Because a lot of times, when I read, it's on my phone, and I can't record myself reading on my phone. But, I got a new laptop, and Overdrive and Libby are apps on my laptop, so I could read on my laptop. When my phone is dead, 
I just realized the error. If my phone is dead, I can't record myself. Well, I can record myself if my phone isn't dead. Just saying. Guess who hasn't recorded themselves and really got their laptop? This girl. Go ahead and call me a clown. Because I hyped this book up and I really wanted to enjoy it. And I'm not enjoying it. Man, Brittany and Allie and everyone else on Twitter, Boston and Olivia and et cetera, et cetera, got me so excited for this book. I am 26 pages in. And I just, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I have some tabs in here, but it's mainly character information because I keep forgetting who's who and what's going on. I think it seems to be like, I want to say third person, but also says things that makes me feel like there's a narrator. And then there's parts where it's like italicized and then it's not, and I'm just... can so i've been told that once you get to like a hundred it gets good and gets sped up so i'm thinking okay i'm gonna read to a hundred and see if i want to read more because i guess apparently things hit the fan at a hundred so if i want to know more at a hundred i'll keep reading if not i'm putting this down i'm done like, I'm, I'm really struggling like michaela i think is at a hundred and something maybe even 200 by now and i'm still on 26 26 you see how big this book is and then the words are like ant size small. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Why are they this small? And not only are they small, but they're squished together. I'm like, listen, I'm never gonna finish this. I'm like screaming. So every time I sit down, like I was trying to read today, I get distracted. And normally when I read, I get like really like sucked into it. But this, I can't. Like, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna do that. Let's put on some music, let me t check Twitter, let me do this, let me do that. I keep getting distracted. And then, I'm thinking about every other book other than this. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little butthurt because I bought this book just because I was really, really excited to read it. And now I'm like... Clown. It's like um, 10.30, an hour later than I wanted to be. I told myself, read until 9.30. Here I am playing games and texting on Twitter at 10.30. Haven't read crap. I went on Libby to see if there's an audiobook. There's no audiobook. So if I decide to get the audiobook, I have to pay for it. I prefer not to buy audiobooks unless I know for a fact that I'm going to enjoy this book. <sighs> this ain't it. So I'm not buying it. I did go on Libby and I added like 20 more books. I think for me, you can only have 15 books on hold at a time. I'm at 10 and then I have four that just came in that are supposed to be for September. They came in early. And I started one when I should have been reading every night. Look, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm really trying. Like I just, I want to read, but Nevernight is not doing it for me. Boston tweeted and she said that something that you have to be in the mood for, so I should probably pick it up another time, but like, if I don't read this now, I can guarantee you about a thousand percent I am not picking this up again, especially since I read so much and I'm bored. I know I'm not going to read it. Yeah. I think the most excited or the most like oh wow i got so far you know spoiler alert she killed somebody and i was like wow and then it was over and then i was like okay oh did i feel like i was gonna start this with like a bang and now that i'm reading it i'm just like oh, can something happen uh right, so i'm gonna try to read some more get to like 40 pages and then we'll go to bed. Because it's a waste. All these pretty tabs that could be used in a different book. Remember when 
I said that I would read to page 40 and then go to bed. Yeah, I didn't do that. I just put the book down and went straight to sleep at page 28. And then now, everyone on Twitter keeps coming for me. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I just laid here on the floor and I was like, you know, let me put some stuff away in my closet, clean up my closet so I can get that done. Go around my room again, grab this, you know, these belts and stuff out of the closet and I'm going to go read for like two chapters and I'll come back and clean. I fell asleep. Um, I think it's time. I think it's time. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna work. Okay, as you can see here, um, oh, you can't really see anything. Um, all I'm doing. All right, so I just. I decided to make this never night reading vlog into two parts maybe even three because i am struggling to read it as a matter of fact here's my paperback copy i am page 40 and it's been about two weeks since i started this i have i can't really see it this way but that's how many tabs i have in it because I want to start annotating it so I could have discussions and talk about it. But, nothing really to talk about. I'm bored. Like, I'm honestly, I'm bored. I don't know. Most of these tabs are this light green, oh gosh, this light green color right there. Which is for character information, plot information, setting, that type of stuff. I forgot to mention, if you care any music in the background, that... It's overexposed, but that is Olivia Reads a Latte's, um, I think it's like September Bullet Journal Plan With Me thing. Yeah, because for some reason, everyone was feeling good today, because from like 9.30 to 11.30, everyone was uploading, I think three more just uploaded, and it's like, people upload every day all the time, but these are people that I watch and love, and they're like my favorites, and I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, what's happening on this fine Tuesday? Everybody uploaded? Oh, snap. 42 minute long. I, listen, I was shook because all the notifications came up and I was like, I think Chelsea, Isabella, oh, I think Chandler uploaded. I don't know if it was today or yesterday. Then we got Olivia. Listen, everyone was uploading and I'm here sh shook because I have no time. To watch all these videos, I have to be packing and cleaning. Anyway, back to the book. So yeah, I'm on page 40. I'm bored. The last annotation I did was page 20. And it's one, it's green for character info. Mm. It's green for setting information. Because it talks about how there's three suns. And then I put orange because I was shocked because like... Three suns. Three suns as in where the lighting comes from, not suns as in children. I don't know, like, I was really excited for this book. Everyone was talking about it. Now book three is coming out. Everyone was talking about it, hyping it up, talking about how it's really good. I've been hearing about it for how many years now? Two? Three? When was this, when did this come out? 2016. Yeah, so it's been about two, three years since I've talked about it. Well, I heard people talking about it. And I'm like, it's about time that I read it. Especially since it was like $8, wherever I got it from. And since book three's coming out. In my mind, I was like, oh, book two just came out. No way, book three's coming out. And book three came out. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I need to hop on this bandwagon. I need to go. Okay, I'm not actually going to throw it. But that's how I feel. Like, I'm bored. It should not take me two weeks to get to page 40. And it's... And it's not like, I don't know, it's just, and there's also in the book, there's a lot of, let's see if I can show that, a lot of footnotes, you see that line? This this is like random notes in here. It kind of reminds me of a teacher, not a, not a teacher, well, a teacher does do it sometimes, but it reminds me of a person annotating and taking notes, and they put it at the bottom, and like... I'm used to reading from top to bottom, just keep reading. Because every time I do this, I'm like out of the story because I'm trying to figure out, oh, wait, what the heck, what are we talking about? And then I like find it and reread the whole, like, 
I'm bored. I think four or five other people on my Goodreads are actually reading this at the same time as I am. Because I believe there's one group thing going on. And then there's my buddy read with Michaela and other people just picking it up because book three came out. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know. A lot of people are saying that I should wait to page 100. Did I say this already? I don't know if I did. They're saying wait to page 100. It's apparently around page 100. It gets good. Like something happens. And that's in the middle of chapter chapter 8. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can get there and I can see how I feel by then. But as of right now, like, I don't want to read it. I haven't picked it up, haven't touched it. It's been sitting on my desk just chilling. I put my tabs away because I'm not going to tab anything because, like, I'm not. Because most of my tabs are like, oh, this was a sad moment. Put a blue tab. Or, oh, it was a really cute romance moment. Put a pink tab. I haven't really done that, like. Or this part was really funny, and I think it's supposed to be funny, but like for me, I'm just like, huh? I don't know, I'm bored. <sighs> I want. I was thinking of taking it slow, but I don't want to spend a whole year on this book. If it takes me two weeks or 40 pages, you know, imagine how long it would take me to read for, what, 430? For 40 pages? I'm gonna be here forever. So... I don't know. I don't know what I do. I was planning on reading some today. Didn't read it. I, instead, I've been watching Love Island UK with my mom because she's obsessed with the show. It's She likes it because it's similar to Bachelor in Paradise. And reading a book on my phone, which I believe is... I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a romance that I found. And I was like, oh, it's cute. Sure, start reading it. I'm like, page something chapter eight in that still in chapter two of this i'm struggling <sighs> yeah so that's my update i was just to make one long video but i film and edit on my phone and i do not think i'll be able to upload save edit a 42 minute long videos so right now we're hitting 20 yeah, so i might do like a part one and part two yeah it's Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm going to be um moving into my dorm. Which means reading is very unlikely. Maybe during like breaks or something or the ride, but reading is not likely. I don't know if my friend is doing anything tomorrow because she moved in early. I know today she's at the African American Museum or the Museum for African American National History, something like along those lines. She's over there today. But if she's not doing anything tomorrow, I might see her tomorrow. I don't know. I, I'm i home alone right now because everyone's out at school and work and stuff. So, like, I might read. Like, make some lunch and read. But just, like, I don't want to. I don't want to have to force myself to read this. I want to read it, but I don't want to force myself to do it. That's the thing. I just... Reading is for my enjoyment, and I'm not going to force myself to do something, and I feel like I just need to DNF it, just be done. I don't know. So I just found a audio book for Nevermind. So I think I'm going to be reading that now, or at least listening to that. I was listening to Cruel Prince, but that was not capturing my attention. So, um... This is, I might have to alternate between the two. But now I have the audiobook for Nevernight, and I just need to get my headphones wherever they're at to read. Which I'm. Finally. Maybe I can find, actually read the book this time. I also need to, like, make sure I cancel. Oh, excuse me. I also need to make sure I cancel my 30 day trial because I'm not trying to spend all that money each month on, a book that, on books that I'm not getting, so. I think y'all can see me. It is September 12th, 2019. Pop days, maybe even weeks since my last update. It is like 5 p.m. I'm chilling in my room playing Sims. And when normally when I play Sims, I like to listen to an audiobook or listen to music. I've been listening to them on their audiobook and I'm bored. I already forgot the whole chapter. I'm reading, it keeps cutting off. For some reason, like this, I, keep, I like to read at two times speed, but for some reason, the speed keeps changing but all of a sudden it'll go to one and a half to one to two or just cuts off all together i just 
So, wait, even though that's happening, I'm just not interested. I'm bored, and I'm over it. So, you, I have decided to just... So, I have decided to just DNF it. I think it's time that I just accept it that I'm not enjoying the book and DNF it. I have read all these other books at the time that I started Never Night and enjoyed them much more. And there's so many other books that I would like to read. So, I'm just DNFing it. That's it. I... <sighs> I already, moving so I already put it into Goodreads, and uh, all I have to do is just accept it. I guess I don't know. I'm, I don't know. That's it. Officially DNF Never Night, and I'm probably going to find someone that will want it and give it to them or donate to your library because I do not think I want that sitting on my shelf forever because I didn't enjoy it. I feel bad because there's a lot of people like Boston and Olivia and Michaela and basically the whole entire world that liked the Nevernight series. And I just, fortunately, I'm not one of them. I'm just not. So with that being said, I'm going to end off this Nevernight reading vlog. And I'll see you on the next one.